Hi Church, this is our devotion for today and today we'll take a look at the life of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was a miraculous baby born to aged parents and he was the forerunner to Christ and he understood his position as a forerunner of Christ. He didn't, he wasn't proud, he did not say that, you know, uh, believe in me instead. Instead, his goal in life which we find in uh, John chapter 3 verse 30 he says I must decrease and he must increase now we see that John the Baptist wore unusual clothes ate the most unusual food and he was preaching in the desert where we see that you know many people came out to hear him and we see that you know the Sanhedrin who was in charge of the sacred scriptures sends a community to ask him John are you the promised messiah but he would just do one thing point them towards Jesus his sim he was preaching a message of repentance and the coming kingdom but he also had a ministry that was very simple that was pointing people towards Jesus in fact there's a scene in John chapter 1 verses 38 to 42 where the disciples of Jesus were worried that Jesus had more disciples but John instead turned his disciples that is John the Baptist disciples to Jesus and said that that's the lamb that takes away the sins of the world and his disciples John the Baptist disciples started following Jesus so here we see a simple person John the Baptist waiting in the desert and he was inspired by the Holy Spirit to function as the forerunner of Christ he did not have the scriptures like we do he only had the Old Testament scriptures and he had the faith and he knew his role to point people towards Jesus the simple ministry that he had so like John the Baptist, we also have ministries that are very simple, but do not, you know, take those ministries for granted. Even a little done for the Lord will carry us or will carry the ministry a long way. There's a story told of a person in the Sydney Harbor and that person was a beggar on the street and that person he couldn't was not educated and didn't have much money because he was a beggar but every time a person passed by him he would tug his shirt and say to that person believe in Jesus believe in Jesus and his ministry had such a huge impact because even though many wouldn't believe on the spot they would go home and they would research who this Jesus was and they would find out that Jesus was the one who forgave themselves their sins and they could be in heaven so even though he couldn't do much because he was a beggar he would point people in the direction of Jesus so this is a simple ministry that we ourselves also can you know do just point people towards the church towards Jesus Tell them, evangelize, tell them that, hey, you don't have to be, carry the, your old sin nature. Your sins can be forgiven. Point them in the path of Jesus. This is our devotion for today.